Hey everyone, Kale with Antique Book Collective, and today I'm getting to you guys with Make a Thousand Dollars or More in One Day with Antique Books. And I know this sounds like clickbait, I know all that sort of stuff, but let me say I've actually done this, I've done it several times, I do not do it every single time, I wish I did, uh, but I have had quite a few days where I sell over a thousand dollars worth in books, and that has happened, I would say, at least, uh, let's say, 5% of the time that I've been doing this business. And I know that doesn't sound very big, uh, but I've been doing this business for about five years. So that's quite a few days that I've been making over $1,000 in books. So uh, what kind of numbers are we looking at? How many books do you have to sell to do that? So uh, if you follow my whole way that I do this, uh, and I go over how I do my antique book business in my channel, so if you'd like to know more about that, check out my channel, subscribe below. Uh, but if you want to know sort of what you have to do for that, so let's say you sell your books for an average of about $25 each book. That means you have to sell 40 books. Uh, I actually have an average sales price of 50 books. So uh, say, I'm just gonna show a couple books. So here's a book, here's a book. Uh, they're both, I don't know, less than 100 years old. Here's one that's uh, from 1873, all that sort of stuff. Um, just gonna show a couple more books, a few more books. I'm not going to show you all the ones I have stacked next to me, but there's a few of the books that I have, and I sell those for an average, between all of them, of about $50 per book. And if you're playing along, that means I have to sell 20 of those books in one day, and if I do that, that's $1,000. Uh, of course, I sell books that are worth more than that as well. So I have a, quite a few books that are $200 or more, and if I'm selling books that are $200, that means I only have to sell five books in one day to make $1,000. And, as a grand finale, if you're selling books that are over $1,000, that obviously means you have to sell one book in a day to make $1,000. And for me, I've actually sold quite a few books, and uh, particularly sets of books, that sell for over $1,000. For me, my encyclopedia sets that I've sold, I've sold quite a few encyclopedia sets, and those can sell for over $1,000. I've also sold some first editions that sell for over $1,000. And you'd be surprised how many times you actually find sets of books and individual books that you could sell for over $1,000. And if you guys follow my channel at all, you know that I buy my books for $2 or less on average. Uh, a lot of the books that I buy, I can get for as low as five cents, and the most I've ever paid was $25. That was once, never doing that again. Uh, there are other antique book sellers who do recommend buying books for more money, but I have had zero luck with that. Do not do that if you want to follow my whole thing. My thing is buy these books for as cheap as stinking possible and make as much money as you can. Like, I can buy children's books from Goodwill Outlet for, I think it's like 50 cents or something. And then I go and flip those children's books around and I can make $500 on a children's book, depending on the book, depending on how old it is, all that sort of stuff. So I know those are some pretty lofty numbers, and let me just say I don't hit that $1,000 goal every single day. I mean, it's not even a goal because of how hard it is to hit for me, but I've done it quite a few times, and I'm actually, I surprise myself every single time that I hit it because it's like, oh wow, I just had a $1,000 day from antique books, books that people were literally throwing away from this, from this, from this. It's like, wow. I just made that much money from eBay in one day. That's stinking cool. And I, again, just want to say that you guys aren't guaranteed to make $1,000 a day. For me, I average, I'd say, $50 a day. When I'm uh, going after it really hard, I average probably like $300 a day when I'm going after it hard. And that's not all profits, of course. I find that I normally have like 10% or between 10 and like 30% uh, expense, depending on how cheap of books I'm doing. When I'm selling cheaper books, the expense percentage is a lot higher. When I'm selling really expensive books, my profit is absolutely huge. Like I'm only having like 5% expense and the rest is profit. So that's sort of stuff that you have to play with. It's again, just sort of stuff that you figure out as you go along, all that sort of stuff. But I mean, I make some pretty good money selling antique books and all I have to do is go out on the weekend, buy a bunch of books, list them on the weekend, and then they sell throughout the week, and I just drop them off during the week. And that allows me to do other work, uh, other businesses, all that sort of stuff during the weekdays. And for those of you guys that have normal 9 to 5s, this makes for a great side hustle. You just give away one day of your weekend or two days of your weekend, depending on how many books you buy, how hard you want to go after this. And I actually did this antique book business as I was working in a factory, 12-hour shift, graveyard. 
I was doing this. I was selling my antique books. I'd be doing it on the weekends or whatever day that I wasn't working. And I mean, I'd, uh, I had this weird schedule where I'd work four days and I'd have four days off. Then I'll work three days, have four days off, you know, that sort of thing. And I put in a whole lot of hours at my job and then I'd go and get these antique books and make more money than I made at my job. And that's how I eventually decided to make the leap and just do this one business. So I hope that you guys can do this sort of thing as well. I hope you guys can quit your job and sell antique books or whatever else you want to sell and join me because uh, there's a lot of money to be had on eBay. There's lots of things that you can do. And for me, I love antique books and I'd love for you guys to sell antique books too because for me, all these antique books that I can find, that I can buy, that I can then sell, those are books that would have been thrown away, that would have been in the dump. These are books that are history, that are going to be gone if I don't get them. And uh, for me, if I can get more of you guys to join in and sell antique books, that means more and more of history is going to get saved. So I'd love for you guys to subscribe. I'd love for you guys to check out my other videos. And I'd love for you to help me save history. See you in the next video.